You hear about the security of technology, but what about the technology of security? Wait, 31 anchor Bill Young digs deeper into the safety of a phone app that uses technology to deliver a duplicate key to your front door. It's where your keys and your cell phone meet. It's an app called KeyMe. You take a picture of your key, you submit it, and you're sent a duplicate. But could that be a recipe for crime? I went to the founder of the app and a local locksmith to get both sides of this key issue. Brooks Lock and Key opened in Decatur in 1971. John David Orr bought the business in 2004. He's watched the evolution of the locksmith industry. Even, even in, the, in, what, 16 years? Yes, there's been a lot of changes. His concern in this evolution is the rise of phone apps and kiosks, which allows someone to copy a key with zero human interaction. Anything automated is convenient, but with convenience, you lose or, or release some of the security. Keep your key fully inserted and press in firmly. Greg Marsh founded the app KeyMe six years ago. You scan a key with your phone, send off the picture, and receive a copy by mail. They also have 2,000 kiosks nationwide. Via FaceTime, he argued that his service goes even farther in enhancing security compared to a traditional locksmith. For every key we make, we actually know the key. We have a transaction history uh, of keys we've made, which no other company has. We have accountability on who has made those keys. We have a financial paper trail. We have uh, security footage at our kiosk. We use biometrics to log in. The app specifically has been designed to uh, only scan keys that are off the keychain. Uh, they're on a blank white piece of paper. You have to scan it from three inches away, flip it over, scan the other side. So you have to have full possession of the key. A flyby photo uh, strictly will not work. As for Orr, a member of the Alabama Association of Locksmiths, his concern is what happens as this industry continues to evolve. Our job is to protect the consumer. So if we have an automated machine that simply you can email or text a picture of a key into this organization and they mail you a key, there's no way that we can regulate that. Orr said that in his opinion, if you're worried about someone getting a hold of your keys, get ones which can't be duplicated. These are keys for which there are no blanks, so it can't be copied with an app, a kiosk, or a locksmith. I also asked Marsh about what customer information is stored by Kimi. Now, they don't store the addresses or credit card information for a customer after the order is complete. However, the information they do store in order to link an order to a customer is a, quote, encrypted mathematical representation of key geometric information, end quote basically meaning it would be virtually useless to a hacker. Bill Young, Way 31 News.